Hello everybody, I'm Dr. W.H. Pennywit and welcome to another edition of At the Pennywit Center. You know, I'm not really sure where this video is going to go. I'm not sure rather I'm just going to have it for my Facebook friends. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put it on our website or just leave it on YouTube. But I just wanted to share a little bit with you about what is on my heart a little bit more about what I do, what my wife Linda and I do, and why we do it here at the Pennywood Center. Now, we've been ministering to people for many years. We've pastored, we've evangelized, and the Lord brought us into a deeper walk with Him in a way that we minister to people through counseling therapy. And He has taught us so much about the human psyche, about the soul, which is your mind, your will and emotions. And he's broken that down in ways that we, we work with that, that we deal with that. And it's such a blessing to see. <coughs> Excuse me. But one of the things that we see so often, and I see this with every single person that I talk to, they've been hurt. They've been hurt deeply. You know, these pains can start at at well, actually, before childbirth, there are studies that show that uh, certain things that people do or there's certain things that people become actually start before childbirth, when it's in utero, when, when the baby is still in its mother. Some of these things happen. But it all comes about to where the person feels hurt. They feel like they've been wrong. When I minister to married couples, or my wife ministers to married couples, they feel like they've been hurt. And they're like, how can my, my wife or how can my husband do this to me? But all along, I've searched and I've searched, and I keep saying, Lord, how do I talk to these people? How do I help them to understand the truth of what it really is? And after years and years and years of doing this, I've drawn one conclusion, and I want to share it with you through the Word of God. It's in 1 Corinthians 13, and the Lord showed me. He said, you know, Doc, he said, nobody can point the finger at anybody else until they've got this down in their own lives. And I love to ask my, my patients, I say, have you been patient with your mate? Or have you been patient with your child? Because love is patient. Have you been patient with your boss? Have you been patient with that relationship? If you haven't, then that can cause pain not only to you, but to the other person. Love is kind. Have you been kind to your mate, I'll say. Have you really been kind to your, to your wife? And he'll say, no, I haven't. I'll say to her, have you really been kind to your husband? And he'll say, she'll say, no, I haven't. I've never heard anybody yet say, yes, I've been patient with him. I've been kind with him. Uh, love is not, not jealous. Have you always been, been trusting and not jealous with your mate? I've never heard anybody say, you know, that they have all of these down. Love doesn't brag. Love isn't arrogant. I say, have you bragged? Have you been arrogant? With your mate, have you been arrogant with a boss or that, that co-worker? And if you have, that puts the spotlight not only on them, but it puts the spotlight on you too. And you can't understand why you feel so bad. Because the finger that you've pointed at them, you've got four fingers pointing back at you. And if you look at this, you can see where we need to repent. You know, I repent all the time to my wife. I say, honey, I am sorry. I look for these things. I really do. Do I get these down all the time? No. Nope. But I tell you what, one of the things that I've learned about successful people, they're quick to forgive and they're quick to repent. And I've learned to do that. I say to my wife, I apologize. I must say that 10, 15 times a day because I really want her to know that I do apologize. I say, oh, Lord, I missed that one. I missed it on that one. Forgive me. I repent quickly. I don't beat myself up. And then I keep moving forward. Love does not act unbecomingly. Have we acted unbecomingly at work? Have we acted unbecomingly at school or uh, wherever we're at? Most of us can't say that we haven't. Love doesn't seek its own way. Do we seek our own way? Do we have to have our own way when we're in a relationship or in an argument? 
can we just step back and say, well, I'm sorry, I guess I really didn't see it that way. Can you forgive me? You know, you say that to somebody that you're in an argument with, you turn around, you turn the situation around and you say, oh, I'm sorry, I just didn't see it that way. Can you forgive me? Very rarely is that person going to have any words to say to you other than, uh, uh, okay. It happens all the time. If you say, I'm sorry, if you say, I'm forgive, uh, forgive me, that lets all the air out of it. That, you know, a soft answer turneth away wrath. That's what it says in the book of Proverbs. I say that to my son Josiah all the time. And he uses that. And he's made it work in quite a few circumstances. Doesn't take into account a wrong suffered. People, if we can just get this one down, oh, the healing that we could see in this world would be epic. Don't take into account a wrong suffered. Forgive and they'll forgive you too. Doesn't rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with truth. Love bears all things. Whatever my wife does, I'm going to bear her up in my arms and pray for her. Doesn't matter what it is, I am going to bear it up. Believes all things. You know, I'm only going to believe the best about people. I don't want to believe the worst about people. I don't even want to hear the worst about people. I want to believe the best about you. And that's the only thing that I choose to listen to is the best about you. Hopes all things. You know, I have hope for you. I have hope that everything is going to be all right. In your life, those of you that are living in the household of faith, everything is going to be all right. Say that with me just one time. Everything is going to be all right. And last but not least, love never fails. Be quick to repent, quick to ask forgiveness, and quick to forgive. And remember that Jesus loves you, and he's never going to let you fall. Of that, I can promise you. So 1 Corinthians 13, I wanted to share it with you. I wanted you to know that this love really works. Faith works by love. It really does. So if your prayers have been dragging and they haven't been answered the way you'd like to see them answered, apply these things to your life and see the results. Until the next time, this is Dr. W.H. Pennywit from the Pennywit Center here in Hearst, Texas saying bye-bye.